Typically, Penn State students are given a lot of opportunity to go around and look at the campus and its features. A question you may ask yourself while being up in Penn State is, how does a student keep himself busy outside of class? For my video, I chose to show everyone all the places around campus that you may not know about. Providing a look at these other places on campus is important because of how big it is. Right across from the Lewis Katz building, you will see the Penn State Arboretum. This garden is a must-see for every Penn State student. Located on the northeast side of campus, the Arboretum holds 17,000 different plants and over 700 different plant species. This peaceful area is a great place to look at some never-before-seen plants or just to relax and study. This huge garden is a very close walk for students residing in East Halls, which means many students have the ability to visit. Plants with unique names like Plum Pudding and Plumbago will certainly catch your eye when you are going through the garden. This also features a children's garden with a pool filled with lily pads and across from this you will see the fountain, which is another unique sight to see in the middle of the garden. Going through here on a nice day will give you insight on a variety of the plants that are all here, leading me to an even more northern part just off campus to another scenic area that students should visit. Just down McKee Street, you will see at the end is Joe Paterno's house located on the left of Sunset Park. This is a cool site for people to come see because Mrs. Paterno still lives there. Joe Paterno had a huge impact on Penn State, leading them to 409 victories in his time as a coach, the most ever by a football coach. After passing by the Paterno's house, there is a park right next to their home called Sunset Park. This is a popular wooded park that has a lot of features for students. There is a pavilion for you to eat and grill at with a basketball court across from it. With a skate park as well, students who like to skate can come here and do it legally, since Penn State doesn't allow skateboarding, which I learned the hard way. Another location students should visit is the Duck Pond, located in between the Alumni Center and Old Main. This spot provides a great scenic view for students in the center of campus to pass through during their day. Leading me to a park on the south side of campus, Sydney Freeman Park. This park is history dating back to the 1800s. With the passing of a local businessman, they renamed the Central Park to be Sydney Freeman Park. We can thank this man for providing so much to State College, including the State Theater that him and his wife donated in 2003. This park is annually used in the Arts Fest held in State College and is a must-see for Penn State students because of its history and scenery. Even further south down campus, you will find yourself on Frat Row. Filled with countless houses, this is a spot all students should look at because it shows the different ways these places live. Some houses, you will see the perfect landscaping in their yards, and others you will see no trespassing signs on every door. Although many freshmen aren't in frats yet, it gives a great representation of what it would be like if you were to join Greek life. Seeing these houses can help determine your readiness to rush or even to go party there. Students should definitely take the hike down to Holmes Foster Park to get out of the dorm and take a walk. This park has a pavilion for you and some friends to eat at, along with a basketball court at the top of the hill to play some games. There's a trail for students to walk on through the entire park, and it has great scenery to view along the way. With the ability to play on the bocce courts, students can come here to play since there aren't any in the center of the campus. You may underestimate the size of Penn State as it is one of the biggest campuses in the country that provides many places with activities. Most students know that it is a long haul to get everywhere, but some of these parks shown in these clips aren't too far out of the students' reach. The spin bikes are a great way of reaching these destinations, as they are provided all around the campus, giving these students an easier way of transportation to all these locations. I'm excited to explore the remaining parts of campus and I can't wait for the fall semester.